Today we're going to be sewing the jacket from the VDC uh, invitation pattern. This was originally put out for Club Grace for the RTB 101 body doll. But I've had a customer request that I make the pattern available for the Jean Marshall doll. If you're interested in this style, I've already put out a video for the strapless dress that you can see in the photograph here. And I've also put out a video to show you how you can easily convert that strapless dress into a long formal style. If you're interested in either of those things, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can easily access those videos. So today we're actually going to be doing this jacket, which it's very easy construction and it has a nice little flounce at the sleeve. So it's a pretty feminine jacket and I think it looks nice with a casual short length dress as well as with a formal length dress. So let's put the pattern cover to the side and look at the actual pattern pieces. So as you can see, I have them here. It's gonna com be comprised of six different pattern pieces. The back of the actual jacket, the side back, the front and the side front, the sleeve, and then the actual flounce at the sleeve cuff edge. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And step one is gonna be to sew the side front sections to the front section. Before you actually take the pins out of your pattern pieces, I recommend that you take your scissors and clip in towards those curved edges. That will make assembly of the pattern a lot easier as you go forward and it's easier to cut them before you actually take the pins out of the pattern pieces. Perfect. Now that we have both uh, side front sections sewn to the front section, the next step is going to be to sew the actual side back section to the back sections. Now that we have the side back section sewn to the back section and the front side section sewn to the front section, we're gonna take it over to the ironing board and press those seams open. And then the next step will be to sew the front to the back at the shoulder seams. So the next step is going to be to press those shoulder seams open and then we're actually going to just take our sleeve piece and run a base stitch right at the sleeve cap edge. We have our base stitch in place, which is great. This is actually gonna be used just to ease the sleeve cap into the armhole opening. There isn't a gather at the top of the sleeve, so it's really gonna just be to create that rounding. So you're just gonna grab the, or the base stitch 
and just gently and you're going to see that it just creates a nice rounding and then you're going to set it into the armhole edge now so the next step is going to be to just go ahead and hem the flounce of the sleeve because I want it to lay really well, I'm just, I'm just gonna use a super narrow zigzag and then just turn it up slightly to make a very, very tiny hem. So what you wanna do is run a base stitch or a slight gather stitch along that rounded edge after cutting a few small clips in towards the curved edge. And then we'll put right sides together and actually attach it to the sleeve cuff edge. You're going to gently pull that basting stitch to fit the cuff edge of the sleeve and pin it in place and then sew it in place. Once you have the flounce prepared, you have it pinned right sides together to the sleeve. We're going to go ahead and just sew that seam. We're gonna press that seam allowance up in towards the sleeve and then we're gonna pull gently on that base stitch at the sleeve cap and we're gonna pin this into the armhole opening and get these sleeves set into the jacket. Once you have the sleeve set, you just want to check both sides to make sure that it got set in there well and that you don't have any unnecessary uh, tucks or puckers. And I think it looks fine. So what I'm going to do is just repeat that on the second side and we're making great progress. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna sew the jacket front to the jacket back at the actual side seam. So I'm gonna trim in towards that sleeve seam first, just give a little clips to relieve some of the pressure there. And then I'm gonna turn the jacket right sides together and sew the side seams.
All right, now that we have the side seam sewn, what we're gonna do is clip in towards the seam allowance, take it over to the ironing board, press those seams open, and then we'll get a quick initial fit to the doll. So here's our progress with the jacket so far, and I really like how it's coming together. I actually made the dress for the uh, invitation pattern for Jean out of this kind of antique looking floral pattern, which I really liked. And I love that I found the exact right color of um, deep uh, red in order to match these flowers. So let's give that uh, quick uh, initial fit to her and see how the um, project's coming together. And then we'll move on to some of the final steps and we're almost done with the construction. So I think in general, I'm very pleased with how it's going. This jacket isn't intended to have snaps at the front, although it does have a crossover and it could, but it's meant to be worn open. And it does have about a three quarter length sleeve with that flounce right there. So I think everything's looking pretty good. Let's check through the back. And I think I'm pretty satisfied with the side seams as well as the back seam. So the length looks like it's gonna be satisfactory. And the very next steps are just to get the lining of the jacket attached and to do some final hand finishing and we're actually gonna be done. So off camera, I already went ahead and prepared the actual jacket lining. The steps for construction are exactly the same as the jacket minus the sleeve flounce. And all you do is wanna make sure you turn up that sleeve lining a quarter of an inch. Um, that way you're ready to hand finish that when you get to that portion of the project. So let me take this over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna pin the lining to the jacket right side together so all the way around um, up the both front openings around the neck and around the bottom edge and I'm just gonna leave with the uh, center back of the jacket an opening for turning Once you have the lining sewn to the coat, you just want to check around all the seams, make sure you had them pressed open as best you could, and make sure you don't have any tucks or puckers. So check both sides, and if everything looks okay, and only then, I would recommend taking the pins out, taking some small clips in towards the curved edges, uh, trimming the seams if necessary, and then we're going to turn it right side out, take it over to the ironing board, and give it a nice press. All right, so here is the progress, which I think is going great. And we literally only have two additional steps and then we're completely finished. So one is gonna to be to hand finish the opening where we turned the garment through the uh, hem edge. And the other one is gonna to be to go ahead and finish the sleeve lining to the sleeves at that seam. Once I get those couple of hand finishing steps done, I'm gonna get a few pictures on the doll and we're gonna see how the overall project turned out and how Jean Marshall likes her new outfit.
our project is finally complete and Jean Marshall looks fantastic. It's hard to believe this is the seventh month of this channel and this is the 77th video. I really appreciate you guys coming along with me. If you've been watching for a while and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I encourage you to do so now and even the notification bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. As always, I appreciate your time and thank you so much for watching.